Imam Ghazali Ali Grant and Mercy mentions the following 10 points of etiquette for the acceptance of dua supplication. 1. Making abundant dua in sacred and special times of acceptance. For example, on the day of Arafa, Jamua, and Ramadan and in the last portion of the nights, etc. 2. To make dua in specific states. There are certain circumstances in which dua are readily accepted, such as in the state of prostration, at the confrontation of two armies, at the time of rain, before and after Salah, etc. 3. To face the Qibla, raise the hands and wipe the hands over the face upon completing the dua. 4. To have the voice lowered. 5. To invoke, Most High, through words and sentences which the Prophet Allah bless him with peace taught us. It is undesirable to put a lot of effort to make our own rhymes and rhythms in dua. 6. To display humbleness externally and have the heart submit totally. 7. To have a firm conviction that Allah will accept the dua. One should have full hope that Allah most definitely will respond to his or her prayer. 8. To persist in dua and repeat each invocation at least three times. 9. To commence the dua with the praise of Almighty Allah. Sending blessings upon the Prophet Allah bless him with peace. And to conclude the dua with the praise of Allah and blessings upon the Prophet Allah bless him with peace. 10. One must make sure he has sought the forgiveness of Allah and sincerely repented before asking Allah from his bounties. If one has oppressed anybody or hurt anyone, the oppressed person's forgiveness must be sought immediately. Toba repentance is only valid when those whom we have wronged have pardoned us. In conclusion, one as dua being accepted does not necessarily mean being given. What was asked for? If a dua is accepted, we could receive what was asked for, or an impending calamity can be averted, or the dua can be reserved for us in the hereafter as reward. By Jamia Chulalama Source Jamia Chulalama